Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be giving you a few little handy tips on Source SDK Map Maker, which will also work on any other map maker tool like Left 4 Dead, Open Beta Tools and so on and so forth. So first things first we're gonna open up our hammer and open up the map you wanna have some tips on. So I've just got a little open room here. So first first I'm going to show you how to strip the players with nothing so they just start with a knife. So I'm gonna click my entirety tool and click anywhere on the map. And I'm gonna click on the entirety and write in game and it's got player and it's got equip. Now a little red box will come up. Now I want you to click smart edit and write and click add. Now this is what you're gonna give the player when they start. So I want them to have a knife and the value I want is one. If you wanted to start with, I don't know, an M for I don't know why, but yeah, if you wanted to start with that, you just write weapon and this go M4 A1 and click one again. But I don't want them to start with an M4, so I'm going to delete that one. And that is how to make them spawn with just their knives. The next thing I'm going to do is how to add ammo to a weapon. So I'm going to go over here, click my entire tool, and change the object name as weapon and this go AK47. And I'm going to click somewhere on the map. Now we've got an AK47 here, and when this spawns on the game, it'll have 30 bullets, and that's all it have. So I want it to have 30 bullets and 90 ammo. So I'm going to click on it, do the same as what I did with the gameplay equip, click the smart edit, and add as key ammo and as value 90. You can add whatever you want. You could have 200, 10, but I'm going to keep it normal and click 90. And you could do this with another weapon. So I'm going to add, let's say, an O. Put it there. Double click the object. Go to Smart Edit. Click Add Ammo. And I'm going to add 40 bullets for this one. Click Apply. So that is how to add weapons with ammo. Uh, another useful thing it would be to add a thing which makes, which hurts you or gives you health. So what I'm going to do, in this far corner here, I'm going to add a block, as you can see there. I'm going to change the texture to trigger. I'm going to just add a little wall around it, so it just looks good. So when somebody walks in here now, I'm going to make them hurt themselves. So I'm going to click Control T on the trigger and write in trigger and this go hurt. Now, if I want, now you go to damage and you write how much you want them to hurt. So I'm going to put it to um, 20. So when they walk in there, they'll go down to 80 HP. Now I'm going to copy this and drag it across so I can have another one. But instead of this one hurting them, it's going to give them health. So I'm going to change this trigger to minus 20. So this will give them 20 health if they're hurt. But remember, the maximum health they can have is 100. So you'd have to work into the damage one first and then the health one. And the last handy tip I'm going to give you is a ladder. Now I'm just going to add a ladder in the middle of the wall by here. So I'm going to Click the block tool and draw a ladder wherever you want it to be, which is by there. And I'm going to change the texture to a ladder. Many ladders come up, but I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to rearrange it so it looks a bit more like a ladder. So there we go. So now that we got our ladder in place, we need to write. We need to click Control T and write in funk underscore ladder and click apply. Now that will be a ladder now, but it's not much of a ladder, so I'm going to cut the roof by here, here, and here. 
Oh, I've got two there. And I'm going to just draw a box here and make it hollow. So I'm going to make hollow. I'm going to put minus two, so it don't go out too much, but it does go out. So now we've got this in place. I want to click on it and change the texture. So I'm going to just put wall and change that. So we've got a wall, but it's kind of going a bit too far down. So I'm going to drag it up a bit. Right, so there we go. Now, as you can see, it's block and hollow, but you can't get up the ladder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup the object. So if I click Control U, that is Control U, this will single out every face. So I'm going to delete this one, and I'm just going to leave it as that. And I'm going to rearrange this one so it's not just coming with a face. And I'm just going to drag this ladder up. So now you'll be able to go up this ladder. And that is just a few helpful tips on Source SDK. Now I'm going to compile the map and test all these out. So hope you helped you. So I'm going to compile F9 and it'll quickly compile. Right, so the map has now compiled and it's now loading up. So here we go, now I'm going to join city. So I've started with just a knife, so that's good. I'm going to pick up the earth and I should have 40 bullets. Once this city moves, I do. And this AK should have 90 bullets, I do. So another thing, when I walk into this, it should take 20 damage off me. Yep, it did. And when I walk into this, it should now give me 20 damage. Give me 20 health, sorry. Oh, that client turned out is very annoying. But anyway, you get the idea, guys. It did work, and the ladder should have worked too. So hope you enjoy. Sorry about the timeout. Good luck.